guys, Lily here from beautywithlily.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know it's been a really long time since I filmed, so if you guys have stuck around for this long, thank you guys so much. It's been probably about a year since I've been on YouTube. Um, I was just busy and I kind of get into things a little bit as I am showing you guys this makeup look. I am doing the Beauty Mix series with a few other bloggers and I will link them all below so you guys can check them out. But this is just like a really simple and smoky, sultry, um, kind of plum, smoky look. So I hope you guys enjoy this and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already have my foundation and concealer on and eyebrows. That's about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the uh, Milani Most Loved Mattes. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a really like matte, smoky eye. And you can see my little puppy, Charlie. He's right there. Sophie is like right there somewhere. Um, he looks like a little creep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to go for the row that has like all of the purpley shades. I think that's what I'm feeling. So, but for the transition shade, I'm going to go with the shade, um, what color is that? Catch a Tan, which is like a really pretty muted tan color. So there's that, super simple and easy. Just kind of blend that in to your crease and a little bit above the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with a, that was like a really fluffy brush, by the way. Um, sorry, I'm a little rusty. I haven't filmed in a really long time. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a much um, denser fluffy brush to get in a more precise blending area. I guess is what you would call it. And I am going to go in with the shade Bust a Mauve. That's a cute name. And we're going to go in right below that tan shade and kind of stick to the crease. I'm also going to go in with a clean blending brush to just kind of blend those two together. Go in with more of that mauve shade. Smoky eyes take a lot of blending, so you have to be a little patient with them. Going in with just a little bit more of that tan shade. Don't want to lose it. So yeah, it's just kind of going in, blending a color, adding some more of another color, blending. It's like I said, it's a lot. It's a it's a process for sure. So I know I haven't been on here in a really long time. I think it's been a year since my last video. I was just incredibly busy, um, and then we also moved. So that took a big chunk of my summer away, which is normally when I film a lot is during the summers because I would have the summers off and it was just easier for me to do that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was just super busy moving and kind of getting situated and all of that. And then another change that I don't know if I mentioned here on my channel is that I got my real estate license, so that kept me busy as well. I just have been busy, like, I don't know why I do that to myself, but I, I like to keep busy. It's not like, it's not like I don't like it, you know, I do like it, I enjoy it. So... I noticed I've gotten a few subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing, and thank you to those who have stuck around. Um, I really appreciate you guys for sticking around, and hopefully you guys follow me on other social media platforms, like my blog. That's the one thing that's been pretty consistent. 
um, in all of this transition. There's been a few other changes in my life, but um, I will definitely go into detail um, about those in a different blog post. Um, a lot has changed just with my work life, so um, yeah, we'll go into detail with that some other time. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go in with the shade Don't Raisin Your Voice which is this really pretty like deep plum color all over the lid. That's gonna, that's the shade that's gonna be like our smoky dark color. Okay, and in order to pack a color on your lid really well that's gonna be dark, remember that it's gonna be a little, it might be a little patchy and it might take some time. So the best thing to use is like a really flat shader brush that isn't too fluffy so that you can get in there and really pack that color in. So don't get frustrated if it takes some time. If you use black, sometimes it's best to use a base, like an eyeliner sometimes works well, like a, a potted liner. Like a jumbo stick type of eyeshadow that's dark and that'll help too. Because it'll it'll give you a really dark base and then that way you can just add a little bit of a of a powder to kind of set that in and it's already darkened. So after you have that shade on there where you want it you want to go in with like a let me find one and show it to you guys okay you want to go in with a brush that looks like this it's fluffy but as you can see when it's on the side it's like pinched in so it gives you like a nice kind of flattened brush i can't even explain it like i, I don't know how to explain to you guys to be completely honest it's just like pinched and a little tapered but it still has that fluff to it so you can blend um your shadows out so i am gonna go in with a mixture of what did i say it was called don't raise in your voice and no plum intended which is a color right above that i'm just gonna mix the two and just kind of start right there where that color meets your transition colors and just kind of blend a little bit slowly We don't want any harsh lines. You can see it's looking a little bit better now. Now we have like a nice little gradient effect where it's we have a dark and it kind of lightens up to the top. And that's how I like to do my smoky eyes. Um, you can do them however you like, obviously. Some people do like a black and it just kind of goes into like a, like a brownish color, which looks pretty nice too. If you really, really want to go for a deep smoky eye, I think I did one last year for Beauty Mix. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it down below. I don't know if I did a video for it though. So going back in with a clean, fluffy brush, just to kind of give it a little bit of a blend. And that's what it's looking like so far. So I'm gonna go finish this eye really quickly and then um, I'll be right Okay, back. I finished that other eye. So we're gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the Don't Raise In Your Voice with like a really small liner brush and I'm gonna line my lower lash line. And now we're gonna take the shades, um, bust them off and catch a tan. We're gonna blend those together and um, smoke out the lower lash line. I am like losing my words today. And then um, I'm going to do the same to the other eye and then I'm going to go dig around my liners and see if I want to go for a black eyeliner or maybe I'm pretty sure I have purple eyeliners. Um, I don't know if they're like this shade of plum. So I'm going to dig around my eyeliners and kind of see what I want to play with. And then I'll be back 
with some lashes on because I am going to pop on some falsies maybe and then we'll finish our face so we'll be right back guys I'm back I popped on some lashes I don't know how I feel about these lashes they're a little too like bam in your face um and I usually go for more like subtle lashes um so what do you guys think is it a little too much I know it's good you know it kind of goes with the whole smoky eye vibe but uh, I don't know how I'm feeling it but they are the um kiss blowout lash this is what the little box looks like um and they are in the xing yon style sorry if i completely butchered that but um i really like the kiss lashes they feel really nice and fluffy they don't feel like real stiff and hard so we're gonna finish off the eyes with the jacqueline hill palette from morphe and I'm going to take, um, ooh, I think it's a shade Obsessed. And I'm going to take like a really small, dense brush. And we're going to use some spray to kind of wet it a little bit. We're going to take that shade Obsessed. And tap any axis off. And we're going to put that like on our inner corner of our um, eyes to kind of give us a little bit of a shimmer. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer and Bronzed. This is one of my favorite bronzers at the moment. It's just like nice and subtle. Um, but still gives you that nice like bronzed look. It's not overly dark. It's just like the perfect shade for my skin tone. So I think if you have like something similar to my skin tone, it'll work for you too. Okay, for blush, we're going to go in with the Pretty Vulgar Blush in the shade um, 18. Hush Blush, maybe. That's what it's, maybe that's what the shade is. That's it right there. It's really pretty and like a like a mauve color, like a rosy mauve. And it's very pigmented, just FYI. But I think I got way too much on my brush. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe uh, French Boutique Blush oh, brush. Oh my gosh, did I have something on my nose? It's like so itchy. I'm gonna tap some off on my back of my hand because I think I got too much. It's like such a pretty color. It's been one of my go-tos for like the last couple of weeks maybe. For highlight, I'm going to go with the Laura Geller Alanized um, Highlight in the shade Tempting Topaz. That's what it looks like right there. It's really pretty. And let me see where's my blush. There's my brush. And then I just use like a Luxie 524 T brush. That's what it looks like. I or I've also been using um, this one a lot too. This is also a Luxie brush. This is the Duo Fiber Powder Brush. But since it's nice and pinched, like pinched right there, it kind of gives you that flat. So anything like that works. Um, you guys know I'm not like huge into highlight. I feel like it just kind of highlights the pores a little too much. Kind of brings out like a lot of the bad features in me. <laughs> I feel like it looks so pretty on so many other people, but on me it just, hmm, it's not my favorite. Now enough. for a lip color. I have no idea what I'm gonna go for lip for a lip color so i'm gonna have to dig through my collection and see what i can find should i go for like um like a matte bold color or should i go for something more nude i don't know what do you guys think maybe i can do both you know showcase both We'll see what I find and then I'll come back and share okay, with you. So I'm back and I decided to go ahead and just fix my hair and throw on like a regular shirt instead of like a t-shirt. So um, I couldn't figure out what color to go with for my lips. 
I didn't want to go with a nude because I think the last beauty mix post that I did, I did a nude lip. So I'm going to go with something a little bit darker, but not super vampy. So I found this from Tarte. It is their lippy lingerie in the shade Pure. So it looks really pretty and like it might go pretty well with my eye look. So let's try it out. I think... Yeah, I think this is gonna work it looks nice okay so that is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this like I said I'm sorry if I'm a little rusty I haven't filmed in a really long time and I forgot to put my wedding ring on and I feel so naked without it but <laughs> I'm just home so it's like no big deal but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look it's just a really simple kind of sultry smoky I was like a dark really appropriate fall lip so Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys more often because I plan on filming. Uh, getting back into the swing of filming and getting back into the groove of things. So uh, you can always catch me on my Instagram, which is just Beauty with Lily, or my blog. It's beautywithlily.com. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.